Electric cooperatives throughout rural America face a financial crisis inadvertently caused by Congress. If not-for-profit co-ops accept government grants to restore power after a natural disaster or to bring high-speed internet to isolated communities, they could lose their tax-exempt status and be forced to pay back a substantial chunk of that money to the government. Here's why. A change to federal tax laws in 2017 targeted at for-profit companies has created a requirement for co-ops to count grants from federal, state, or local governments as non-member revenue. For a co-op to maintain its tax-exempt status, no more than 15% of its annual income can come from sources other than co-op members. This leaves co-ops with unfair choices. Do they take the money they need to turn the lights back on for their members as quickly as possible after a disaster? Do they accept the broadband grants to help close the digital divide between rural and urban America? Or do they turn down those grants so they won't have to spend their members' money paying taxes rather than improving service? Co-ops from Florida to Oregon are affected by this change, whether they're receiving FEMA grants for storm restoration or broadband grants. Congressional action is the only way to address this issue, and NRECA is leading a co-op advocacy effort to pass legislation this fall. Fortunately, key lawmakers recognize this problem and they're working toward a solution before it hits home with their rural constituents. The bipartisan bill is called the Rural Act, and it will restore certainty and common sense by ensuring that co-ops do not jeopardize their tax-exempt status when they accept government grants. Lawmakers must pass legislation this year, and that will be a challenge given competing congressional priorities. Passage of the Rural Act is essential for America's rural communities, and I hope you will join us in supporting this legislation by going to NRECA's advocacy website, action.coop. For co-ops that have earned government grants on behalf of their members, relief can't come soon enough.